White Cross Zoo currently houses 500 animals of 150 different species. Biaza's fourth mission statement is to achieve the highest standards of animal care and welfare in zoos, aquariums, and in the wild. This has been achieved to varying degrees at Twycross. The giraffes at Twycross are housed in a renovated enclosure which provides them with more indoor space and a more sheltered outdoor enclosure. Their indoor enclosure is split into a large open area and fence pens, providing a means of isolating giraffe. It also provides shelter as the climate at Twycross is cooler than their natural environment. The house had bedding and a hard surface to help prevent overgrown hooves, and hay nets and branches were hung from the roof to allow browsing behaviour. This exhibit improves on their previous one, which was much smaller indoors and had a barren outdoor enclosure on view from all sides. Their outdoor enclosure is now more naturalistic and better reflects the environment giraffes would encounter in the wild, although it is still lacking in enrichment and vegetation. One giraffe was exhibiting stereotypic behaviour such as pacing and neck twisting, perhaps caused by not being provided with enough forage to allow continuous browsing behaviour or the inability to be off view when in the house. The spider monkey enclosure has a naturalistic appearance, which could make it a more accurate representation of how spider monkeys live in the wild. As well as having trees and platforms within the enclosure, the bars enable the monkeys to climb and interact with the public if they wish to. Their old enclosure had mainly metal mesh walls and was separated into smaller sections. There were logs and platforms for the monkeys to climb on, but little to no vegetation, meaning the monkeys were unable to get out of the public eye if needed. The new enclosure benefits the welfare of spider monkeys greatly as it allows them to display natural behaviours. We saw very few stereotypes while observing. The new gibbon enclosure was built costing £2 million. The old enclosure had limited space to provide areas for the gibbons to hide away. The new enclosure is ten times larger and the outdoor sections are divided by water making it immersive. The indoor enclosure is accessed through a small opening by climbing a rope, however each has a large window meaning the monkeys are always on display. The new enclosure is better suited for the gibbons welfare as it provides an indoor and outdoor section for each different species and each area has enrichment and ample room for climbing. The indoor sections have a walkthrough between enclosures for the public. Why costs generally meet Viasa's fourth mission statement? There is definitely room for improvement with regards to enclosure design. The zoo is still working on improving and renovating to help maximise welfare.